How's it going? This here is aluminum arrow, and what I did was set this up to suspend over this wood in these magnets with just barely touching that mirror. The purpose of it was initially to build a floating uh, magnet bearing, and then I started out with ended up with that and making this motor which I'll be discussing soon it's powered by one double A battery pretty neat setup Now this will spin roughly at 1000 RPM for up to four days. So before I go ahead and start talking more detail on what I did, I want to throw in this other video I had made when I was originally wanting to build a floating magnetic motor. get the point there that uh, not too hard to build a magnetic floating bearing but like I said I had to take it a step further and come up with this contraption I dismantled it a little bit I took that front block off with them magnets realizing I didn't need it and this arrow which is a complete arrow sitting there on there spinning by itself and I ended up uh, just taking a, I think it's a 5 8 nut, barely fits over this shaft, and had to use some electrical tape to get it to stabilize. And I'm using 12 millimeter by 3 millimeter neodymium magnets. These are all facing the same polarity south all the way around. And ended up putting three of them on here to help stabilize it. And then them ferrite ring magnets they had in the middle. I ended up putting four stacked neodymium 12 by 3 magnets in between these uh, ferrite magnets and used three of them to go inside, which helps give it a little bit of lift. And then I built my motor, which is just basically 
30 gauge wire wrapped around a uh, magic marker 200 winding coil and going from my positive battery I put a switch in there you don't I shouldn't have did it I didn't need one going up the one side of the coil the other side of the coil is coming out up to what is called a reed switch and then I have this 1.8 volt LED light soldered into that reed switch and what that reed switch is and then here somewhere these are reed switches and if you don't know what these are these switches you can pick up anywhere on eBay or say Radio Shack and that these I picked up off eBay I think six of them for like seven dollars these are heavy duty ones and what happens is when a magnet passes by this it closes a gap on these two terminals or flat pieces of metal that are encased inside this glass creating a contact point and what that does is when a magnet comes by it the reed switch it energizes a coil and pulls the magnet down around and I got three magnets set up all the same polarity once the magnet goes by it energizes it pulls the other one down and then the magnets pass the reed switch it de-energizes so it starts traveling around the coil and the other one comes up turns it on and it just a bit basically a cycle typical reed switch is how these say window door alarms work you got a little magnet here and a little reed switch in there when that magnets touching it that alarm is off As soon as the door opens and a magnet goes away it sends off the siren so these are normally on reed switches and the magnet pulls it off this is a normally off reed switch and the magnet pulls it on it works like so for the big one get rid of some of this shit because how the heck does this um, arrow spin with these fletches on and the broadhead tips on creating drag you can feel the air current coming off them fletches how does it spin that and run that LED 1.8 volt LED light off a 1A battery for over four days at over a thousand RPM and what I found out was you take the battery out take some test leads and close the circuit so I got a continuous circuit when you shut the lights off I right, got the lights dimmed down I have alligator clips attached to a wire to close the contacts on them uh, battery terminals so I have a, basically a circuit here now I'm going to zoom in and spin the arrow. Now keep in mind there's absolutely no battery or anything here. You can see it lights the LED. That LED is a 1.8 volt light. So I do believe it is generating some current which is greatly aiding in the ability to run so long. So there you go. The floating simple motor powered arrow. These things, like I said, really eat what you choose for it, but it's pretty neat and pretty good science project for the kids, which my daughters will probably be using this in school. As time goes on, like I said, I'm going to be building me supercharging the damn thing or building another one. I got more magnets coming, a lot of wire. Goal is to pull 10,000 RPM out of it and then create a solar one possibly that'll run 
literally forever. Stay tuned for more videos of contraptions like this to come.